Welcome back to the channel. This is the Earth Science Classroom. This video is on geology and the Colorado Plateau series. And this video we're looking at the Grand Canyon Wall and looking at the amazing layers of rocks and kind of looking at the three main rock types or rock classifications that you'll see on the Grand Canyon Wall from the plateau surface down to the Colorado River. This is the Earth Science Classroom. The Grand Canyon is a part of the Colorado Plateau, which is very large. And the canyon itself is very large, and the National Park is very large. And what you'll see is that different rock layers, or different amounts of rock layers exposed across or along different parts of the canyon. And from which point of view you can see the canyon, whether it's from the river, the Colorado, or it's from one of the north rim or south rim, or one of the areas where you can look into the canyon. but the three main rocks we're discussing in this video are generic in terms of these are the three main classifications that you'll see across the whole canyon. You may not see all of them at once, but here they are. These are the three classifications. Here we have a diagram showing the profile of the generic canyon. And we have the three sets of rocks. The first one is the basement rocks, the oldest rocks in the canyon. These are igneous and metamorphic, and these are in the inner gorge around the river. So if you're kayaking or canoeing on the Colorado, you're going to see these rocks right where you are. And then you have a set of rocks number two, which is called the Grand Canyon Supergroup. This is a set of sedimentary rock layers, and these are angled and tilted. Then we have the third set. This is the most visible, especially from the rim or the plateau surface looking into the Grand Canyon from any different area. This is the striking layered Paleozoic rock strata number three. And this extends all the way from the inner gorge up to the plateau surface. And it covers rocks that were formed in the Paleozoic era. As opposed to set number two, the Grand Canyon supergroup, the third set is very visible to all that look into the canyon or even up from the river on the wall. The striking different colors of the sedimentary rocks that are layered from 545 million years ago up to the surface, the plateau surface, the top of the canyon, which dates around 255 to 270 million years ago. So you have around 250 to 270 million years of different sedimentary rocks being deposited in different environments creating these beautiful colors and textures and layers to this canyon wall. And you can see the different thickness of each layer, which denotes the amount of time for deposition. And we can work back the environment in which this rock was deposited through sediments. This picture is striking and you're looking pretty much at just one set of rocks in the Grand Canyon, which is the Paleozoic era, the layered sedimentary rocks and you don't see too much of the basement rocks, the, the first set, or the second set, the supergroup. What you do see are these striking different strata and sedimentary beds that are of different colors based on the composition and the elements and the minerals, and also based on the environment in which the deposition occurred in. And you have this timeline going from the Kebab limestone, which is the youngest, down to the Tonto group, which then hits on the unconformity, the great unconformity, which separates the Tonto group from the basement group, which is around 1.2 billion years of nonconformity, which means that there is 1.2 billion years of missing rock time, where there was no deposition during that period. And this is very visible in the Grand Canyon. And this great unconformity is also visible around the world in different locations. But in Grand Canyon, it is quite striking and in some places very visible. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. And if you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on Earth Science.